good neighbor. This is your friend, the Delta Piper, coming to you from way down south, deep in the Mississippi Delta. And I hope you're having a good week, enjoying a blessed Thursday. Uh, I'm doing pretty fair. I've been a lot going on here lately. I just wanted to jump on and uh, make a quick video, uh, mainly about a new acquisition, and we'll come to that presently. First, I am uh, smoking my Peterson Junior Bent Billiard. These are a fantastic little pipe just for knocking around every day. If you've got uh, stuff you've got to get done, they are light and fit right between your teeth. You can go over about your rat killing with uh, very little effort. And in it, I have some of my trusty Cornell and Deal Sweet English. A good, good little um, English aromatic if you like that sort of thing. It's um, not overwhelming. It's as much English as it is aromatic. And it is um, an unsung um, blend. Don't hear a lot of people talk about. Um, recently, Garrett and Katie I gave it a try on their 100 blend journey, 100 blends in 100 days. You know, check them out, uh, our friends over at Smoke Snacks. And both of them enjoyed it. I sent them a sample uh, a couple months back, and, and both, of those, both of them enjoyed it, particularly Katie, and I'm glad that they, uh, they did. And I, I figure there's a, a good chance you will too. you like English aromatics. Now, this is not the pipe that I, I would be smoking because I have a, a new acquisition, but I didn't want to steal my own thunder at the beginning of the video, so I, I picked this one up uh, to have something in my hands until I showed off the other one. But here, a few weeks ago, uh, I saw that a, a friend of mine from social media uh, had started making uh, his own pipes. Uh, he's a, a gentleman by the name of Noah Miller, and he's from somewhere uh, up north, Maine, I believe, or some equally foreign territory. And he was uh, showing off some of the uh, pipes he'd made, and they were, they were beautiful, just exquisite uh, pipes. And I contacted him and asked him if he was doing this regularly now, and he says that, uh, that he was. And I told him I had a, an idea for a custom number, and I really was not expecting uh, either him to uh, say, hey, yeah, I can do that, uh, or for it to be within my price range. And I was surprised uh, on both counts uh, because I told him, I said, what I would like to have is something like an old Peterson uh, Sherlock Holmes uh, Calabash. Um, I, I like the idea. I didn't just love all of the Peterson designs uh, that came out in that line, uh, but it is a classic shape, and I, I wanted something uh, like it, if not an exact um, uh, replica. And he said, yeah, I believe I can do that. And then I was bowled over when he told me uh, what he I was going to charge for it. It was so inexpensive, especially for uh, not only an artisan pipe, but a custom-made, one-of-a-kind uh, artisan pipe. And then he further blew my mind by having the pipe in my hands within three weeks of uh, ordering it. And that's just unheard of. The quality is good. Uh, it looks exceptional. It smokes well. Um, it's inexpensive, and the turnaround time, uh, I don't know anyone who, who is doing uh, work like that uh, that quickly uh, these days. Now, mind you, this is my first artisan pipe. There may be uh, 100 different uh, pipe makers and designers out there who do uh, exactly that. I'm just not familiar with it, uh, but that uh, is just by the way. So I do not have a Peterson Calabash. But I do now have a Miller Calabash. 
and she is a beauty. Can you see that? Oh, just a marvelous pipe. It's substantial. I mean, it's a big pipe. Your IQ will go up 10, 15 points just by holding it, much less smoking it. So if any of you are looking for a well-made, good-looking, artisan pipe, custom-made artisan pipe that will not break your wallet, you need to check out my friend Noah Miller at Miller Pipe Works and get you one of these or something of your own design. But he does great, great work. You can probably hear a little noise off to the side uh, since we last spoke. And on that front, let me say thank you uh, for all of the uh, kind words uh, prayers, well wishes, both for my grandfather uh, and uh, for Bones, my dog, uh, that uh, had to be put down uh, last week. I really appreciate all of the encouragement. And since that time, last Thursday, a friend uh, reached out and said, hey, I know you just lost your dog. I'm not sure if you're looking for one at this time, uh, but I'm kind of in a pickle. I have a few dogs. I'm having to move house uh, this this dog that I have actually belonged to my daughter, and she's active duty, active duty military and, and can't have a, a pet, obviously. Uh, and we need to rehome him. His name is Buck. He is a fabulous dog, uh, well-mannered, well-trained, very friendly, never meets a stranger, is not aggressive. Uh, and he is an Anatolian shepherd, which is... Um, a substantial animal, you know, big, big dog. Uh, and they're, you know, they're, uh, some of the most, most athletic, uh, dogs in the world. Um, a Turkish shepherd. Some of you might be thinking of a German shepherd, but they are actually from, uh, Turkey, Anatolian, uh, region of, of Turkey. And I would show him off, but, uh, I don't think he, I think he's a little camera shy right now, or else he's just uh, laying out asleep over there, but I'm sure you'll see uh, more from him in the future. Uh, so I have gotten another uh, companion. Uh, as I said last week, uh, I don't like to go too long without having uh, another dog around the house. I'm used to having one under my feet in my business all the time. So uh, whether, whether I was expecting to get one that quickly, uh, I did. And uh, I'm excited to, uh, to have him. And so hopefully we'll uh, see more from Buck, is his name, from Buck in the coming days. I trust that you will have a good, uh, well, what's, what, what's left of your week and enjoy a delightful weekend that's restful and uh, invigorating. And until we meet again, y'all keep those bowls warm.